Hey everybody. Well, it's Wednesday morning. We had our last big Super Tuesday and, you know, it was kind of a toss-up. Uh, Bernie won some, Clinton won some, and in the end, in the end, Clinton didn't win. I know. She didn't win. She won 2,131 pledged delegates. What you need to win the nomination is 2,383 pledged delegates, and that is to clinch the nomination so that there is not a contested convention. She didn't win. She didn't win. She didn't win. She didn't win. God, people, learn the process. I'm sorry. I get a little frustrated now because for a freaking year, I have been telling you all of this. And I go on Facebook and I read the posts and it's like nobody has a fucking clue about how we elect a nominee to be the candidate for the Democratic Party to face off against a Republican, right? We just don't give it to the presumptive winner because she has a vagina and she says she won and Debbie Wasserman Schultz did all she could to make sure she won. You know, despite all the cheating and all the, uh, the backdoor scheming that the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Convention, yes, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, I mean, that's why Tulsi Gabbard left because she couldn't stand what she was seeing in a in the uh, group of people that was supposed to make sure that they stayed as uh, non-biased as possible during the campaign season. The Democratic National Convention isn't supposed to choose a side. Did you know that? We have been cheated from day one in this election. We have, we don't have a uh, standard system of primaries. We don't have a one person, one vote system like the Green Party does. The Green Party does not have superdelegates. Your vote actually does matter in the Green Party. Just thought I'd put that out there. So where are we now? Well, here, here we stand poised to go to the National Convention, the Democratic National Convention, which is uh, July 25th. And between now and then, Hillary has to dodge her investigations and she has to dodge the Freedom of Information Act requests that are coming in regarding the emails and other things that even President Obama is trying to stand on the neck of to prevent from coming out before November 4th. As a matter of fact, the date that he gave for the release of the information that people are looking for in regards to Hillary's emails is November 31st, and it's well after the general election, and it's obviously just a play because, you know, if she had nothing to hide, all of this would be out. I would be like, look, I've got nothing to hide. Here's my fucking evidence. Here is the proof I have nothing to hide. But that's not what she does, is it? Have you seen a Wall Street speech yet? No. Have you heard that during her stay in the State Department, she shipped, she made a deal with Russia and gave them our plutonium with to Russia, with Putin. So you're worried about a nuclear war. Well, she promises one. She promises a war. And it will be nuclear because she's making sure that everybody who can build a bomb has what they need to build a bomb. And she wants to go to war with Iran because she thinks that the peace deal that President Obama made, who she supports so much, she just supports, she's, no, she's Obama, she's for Obama. She supports what he says so much that she's willing to throw away his peace treaty, his this uh, disarmament treaty, to go to war at any provocation, she said. But that's your candidate. That's who you want. So I want you to remember, when the nuclear war starts and she's the president, this is your fault. Okay? I want you to know that this is your fault. All right? 
I know she hasn't won yet. I know it's far off in the future. But there are two possible outcomes. One, we get Sanders, who's the nomination, and will beat Trump by such a large number that it will be so humiliating, Trump will just have to tuck his tail and crawl away. And America will move into a golden age of a stronger economy, a stronger equality for everyone. Or you can vote for Hillary and we'll go to war and the economy will tank because she doesn't care about you. She does not care one fucking thing about you. That's been evident in the things that she has said on her speeches and in the debates. She doesn't have a plan. She doesn't have a plan for anything. You tell me what plan she has. What does she have? I'm begging you, Hillary Clinton supporters. I'm begging you. One policy that she supports today, that she's stumping on, that she's speaking out about, that you say, oh, I got to have that shit in my life. Oh, yeah, that Hillary. She's going to bring that good shit to me. And I'm waiting. I've been waiting, waiting. And all I get from you people are is, oh, Sanders can't pay for this or Sanders can't pay for that. You don't even fucking know what the fuck you're talking about. He can pay for everything that he's promised and then some with his plan. That's how little you know. Do you see how a person like me could become frustrated with a person like you who has done nothing, nothing to educate yourself about this process, about what's at stake, and the only thing you care about is that she has a vagina and she's a Clinton. That's all. That's what it boils down to. It never, it never, you never talk about substance. You never talk about anything that she does. I'm asking you, I'm begging you, please, please tell me, tell me, inform me, educate me. I'm praying, please. What do you like about her? What is she going to do for you? Tell me. Tell me. Tell all of us. You know, you want us Clinton support or our Sanders supporters to get behind Hillary Clinton if she wins the nomination, and you can't even tell me why I should. You haven't given me one reason to support her. And every time you do mention anything, all I got to do is research. I just, you know what? That's the one smart thing that she has said. You need to do your research, which I have. Have you? No. No, you haven't. I've seen your kitty posts. I've seen your, oh, I'm the kind of person who doesn't like this, or I'm the kind of person who doesn't want that. I'm like, well, what the fuck? That, that doesn't matter to me. What I want to know is, you know, how do you view the world? What are you going to do to make this world better? I've seen your posts. None of them have any substance. None of them come with any kind of information that would make me go, hmm, I need to look into that. Maybe I'm wrong about Hillary. You have provided none of that. And when I ask you about Sanders, you don't know anything about him either. You have done nothing. You have done no research. If you're going to sit there and tell me, oh, he can't pay for college for everyone. Yeah, actually he can. And it will be very easy. And it won't come out of your pocket because you're not a, a fucking hedge fund manager and you're not a Wall Street mogul. All right? Those are the people who are going to be paying for college. The people that we bailed out are now going to be bailing us out. You say, oh, well, he, can't, he can't have Medicare for all. Why not? Are you working? Do you pay FICA taxes? Go and take a look at your paycheck stub. You're already paying for it. Every week you get a deduction of Medicare. What would it hurt to let you use it? You really don't know what you're talking about. That's all I have to say. And you kind of show it. You know, Facebook, Facebook uh, is like, it's like this, um, it's like a surgeon. It opens you up and allows all of us 
to see you for who you are. So I love your kitty posts. I love your, um, so, you know, I, it's all about me and I've learned so much. Well, you know what? You're really kind of shallow because you don't really put anything substantive out, out there, right? I don't know who you are. You know, I, you, like I said, when you are asked for direct evidence of your support for Hillary and why, you refuse to provide it. That bothers me. Because if you ask me, why do you support... Adrian, why the fuck do you support Bernie Sanders? I got bullet points, bitch. I got bullet points. I got the research. I looked into the way he's going to fund these things. I've done the homework. I can promise you that. I don't mind doing homework. I don't mind doing research. I don't mind reading. Those are things I enjoy doing, actually. So this was nothing for me to become educated on this subject and on any subject, which that's my challenge. Get educated. Go learn something. Learn the process. Understand what you're talking about. And then that way, when I ask you a question, you could give me an answer that doesn't consist of, oh, you're just a fucking fat queer who doesn't know anything. And you just, what the fuck do you know? You're a fucking socialist. You got to have something better than that. You just got to have something better than that. My mother has called me every fucking name in the book. Since I was a baby, I have been called the worst name. There is nothing you can say to me that I'm going to go, oh, 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 they call me names. That doesn't bother me. You're wasting your time and you're proving your, stupid, your stupidity. Right? Okay? So get with the program. Prove why Hillary is the better candidate. And maybe you might convince a Hillary or Clinton or I mean a Sanders supporter to support her should she win the nomination. But that was the meaning of this recording to begin with. She can't win. She hasn't won. She needs almost 300 more delegate votes to actually clinch the nomination. She doesn't have them. And we're out of states. She won't get them. So the only way that she's going to win is to win at the convention by convincing superdelegates and uh, party delegates. Because you know what? I mean, that's, this isn't even set in stone. It really matters who shows up to the convention now. Did you know that? You probably didn't. You probably think that this is in the bag. Well, it's not. It's not in the bag. Because right now, there are already superdelegates who have pledged their votes to Hillary Clinton. Two have already been arrested. Two superdelegates on the Democratic side have already been arrested. So that's two down and we're not even, on our, we're not even in July yet. And we've already seen several superdelegates say they're flipping their votes. So she hasn't won. Nothing is certain. So stop. Stop with your, oh, Hillary won. It's a historic moment. It's not. It's nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing that you think happened, happened. Because you don't understand the process. You are ignorant. And you could get mad that I called you ignorant. Or you can get educated and then tell me I am no longer ignorant. And I'll be like, that's wonderful. I love it when people educate themselves. I really do.